Biofeedback scans requires a frequency sweep to be input to the body, plus a system to monitor the results of this. As the sweep is being transmitted, it will kill or injure pathogens. Your body registers these events as stresses, and each one is clearly recorded. Spooky 2 has two ways of doing biofeedback scans, Spooky Pulse and Spooky 2 Generator X. Spooky Pulse is a non-damped cardiac monitor capable of detecting the most minute changes in pulse rate. As the scan sweep progresses, Spooky 2 correlates each stress event with the exact frequency that caused it. In Rife, this is called a hit. Depending on your settings, it will then analyse all the hits, then select the 10 or 20 that were the strongest. The frequencies which caused these are assembled into a program you can save and use to treat the problems found. Generator X changes the rules for biofeedback entirely. During a biofeedback scan, Generator X records how the electrical signal behaves. A brief change in the electrical pattern shows that a hit was detected. A biofeedback scan which took an hour with spooky pulse now takes just over four minutes, even less if you do not need to measure both current and phase angle. There's no more sitting or lying down forever waiting for a biofeedback scan to complete. Generator X uses state-of-the-art components and ingenious circuit design to accurately monitor the current and phase angle of signals all the way up to 40 megahertz. So you can really see what is happening in your body. Depending on your Spooky 2 rig, scanning every 7 or 4 days is highly recommended. Spooky Central users should use the results program in the killing preset and run it once a day for 4 days, then scan again. Contact mode users should run it once daily for 7 days, then scan again. Remote mode should be run non-stop for a week and then scanned again. Repeated scans are necessary and this is why. The human body, it may surprise you to learn, is made up of more than 50% bacterial cells. Most of these organisms are harmless, some are beneficial and some cause disease. Spooky 2 is not capable of telling the difference between them. It can only report how big a stress the destruction of each one caused in your body. To put it another way, it lists the organisms that screamed the loudest. But there's no guarantee that these are the nasty ones. In fact, serious pathogens are often able to hide from your immune system because they've developed stealth strategies. So while they may be hit and killed, their presence may not register over the noise of trillions of other bacteria, all of which are also being hit. Repeated scans are necessary to clear the stage of all the loud and melodramatic organisms first. When that's done, Spooky can now hear the bad guys clearly. Biofeedback scanning is like peeling an onion layer by layer. Before you scan, you must first stop and pause all generators operating in remote mode because you should only be receiving the input scan sweep frequencies and no others. If you use Spooky Pulse, you should lie down when doing biofeedback scans as movement affects your heart rate. It takes about an hour to do a full biofeedback scan with Spooky Pulse. If you use Generator X, there's no need to lie down as it detects electrical signals. It takes six minutes to do a full Generator X biofeedback scan.